hey today on not another knitting podcast i'm going to update you on the socks that i'm making for my daughter's birthday i also am hoping to finally take a look at the dreaded tank i should probably stop calling it the dreaded tank time of my monthly cycle where I have more energy. I like to call it my summer week and I would like to think that by that time I'll be ready to approach the tank and be more positive and hopeful and maybe not give up on it. And so hopefully we can talk about that today and anything else that comes to my mind. You want to say hi? Oh yeah, so I've been wanting to say this and I keep forgetting. I think I mentioned it in my first episode, but I am doing an 100 a challenge. It's called the 100 Day Dress Challenge with a company called Wool and I'm wearing a merino dress for 100 days. Today is day 15. This podcast is not about that, but I just, I'm assuming you might have noticed I'm always wearing the same thing. And so I just thought I should tell you that is why I'm not recording this all on the same day or whatever. I am wearing the same dress every day. Mm -hmm. So let me show you the sock. So I am almost done with the first sock. This is day three of knitting this sock and it is knitting up quickly. This is DK, so that's part of the reason why. This is Drops Extra Fine Merino. It's so nice. And this is Simplicity by Haiku in the colorway Passionate Tonal. Um, yeah, so if this color, this yarn, <laughs> this yarn has, um, it's mostly wool, but it also has a good amount of acrylic in it and nylon. And it just feels really scrumptious. It's just so cozy and soft and yummy. And it's just always fun when you have a yarn like that because it just makes knitting so much more pleasurable. It already is pleasurable, but it's just even more. And I actually only wanted to knit the a good amount of the foot, but I just couldn't stop. Um, you want your bread? You want to try your bread? No. Mm -mm. Okay. So, yeah, I. You want to hold this? So, um, I like to change things up for the sake of my hands and my wrists. So I was gonna work on my shorty sock, but I just couldn't stop. It just felt so good, and I'm gonna put a picture here of my daughter trying it on. She loves it. She says it's cozy. I'm knitting it to be a, li a little bit <laughs> a little bit bigger than her foot so that she can wear it for more than one season. You want to wear this? Oh my gosh. Your feet is what? I'm knitting socks for all my kids except for Ebony because I just feel like what is the point? But here she is. Look. <laughs> it's so big. It's too big. All right, so I am gonna try to knit the toes tomorrow and just give this a break, not be too obsessed, but I don't know. It would be really cool to say I finished one sock. Yeah, in three days. This might be that idea. <laughs> okay. So I also forgot to mention um, something, I just a good video for anyone who's knitting socks. A lot of times we complain about 
getting holes um, when we're knitting the gusset, if we're doing a heel flap and gusset, when we're picking up stitches or where the... Um, there is a great video by Carlos and Arn, Arn and Cal Carlos, and he walks you through how to pick up your stitches to minimize those holes and gives you some tips for what to do if you do get a hole. And I have found that ever since I started um, heeding his advice, I have not had holes in my socks. Um, even when I think I've messed up, by the time I finish it and I look at the sock, there are, there are no holes. So I'm going to put that link in my description. I'm sorry, the lighting is so bad. I'm going to put that link in my description um, so you can check it out. Because there's no reason for us to have holes with great advice like this out there. So L'Oreal's trying on her sock. It looks like we're ready for the toe part. It's going to be a little bit big so that she has some room to grow into them and have them for more than just one season. Uh, what do you think, Gloria? I love it. It's mm -hmm. so cozy. It's so cozy. Comfy cozy. Yep. It's interesting that these sides are a little lighter than yeah. And they have bigger stitches. Mmm. Yeah. All right, let me get to it. Hey, so I'm on my way to work. I work at a coffee shop in Annapolis, Maryland on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday closing shifts. I really, really enjoy it. Um, it is hard on like the rhythms of family life because I don't have a day where I'm just home with the family while the kids are there. Like, so I'm home all week with them and then Adam is at work and then he's home on the weekends. And we have some time on weekends, but we can't really like really relax together or go do something. Um, I mean, we could, but then it's like, you have to get up and get out and get back in time so I can go to work. And, uh, and with our season of life, with the age of the kids, that's just not really worth it. So, this is definitely not going to be a long-term situation, but I, I do really enjoy working there, and I'd like to be creative and figure out how I can keep doing this long-term. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm on my way to work, and I thought this would be a good time to talk about the tank top. So, at the beginning of this year, I made a plan for what I was gonna knit because as you know it's really addictive and it's really easy to just keep casting on keep buying yarn for things that you think you're going to knit and we have a tight budget and I use my tip money and like a small percentage of the money that I make from my weekend work to um, spend on this lovely hobby so um but I also have other things that I want to use that money for like my like vitamin c serum or like my uh beef liver supplement or whatever like things that are a little bit extra that technically don't fit in the budget so I thought it would be good to kind of make a cap on what I'm making and what yarn I'm buying. So I had a really good time at the beginning of this year kind of like planning it out. I got all the yarn that I was going to need for that. That's why I know that I'm going to knit this sweater. I already have the yarn for it. I'm going to start it after I finish this cardigan and all that. And so I planned out like I'm going to knit the kids a sock. And you know there have been some unplanned things that have come up. So my project for Adam was the fire pit bits. But I'm also going to knit him a pair of socks now, too. So I got yarn for that recently. Um, another one that popped up that wasn't part of the plan was the Streamline tank. And the reason that came up was because for me, as far as like a garment, like I'm knitting this warm cardigan. I'm going to knit a sweater. But I thought this would be really fun to have something to wear this summer. And so I found this streamline tank it's really cute I'll show a picture of it 
there was a kit on Lion Brand and it was on sale. So I got the kit for $8. I got two cakes of Kobu yarn, which is a cotton bamboo yarn. And then the kit was, the pattern was free with that. So pretty much it was just like a little yarn bundle. And um, I was really excited about it. Now, when I thought, when I looked at this, I thought it was like a one by one or a two by one ribbed pattern on the hem and along the seam. But when I got the pattern and started working on it, it was clear that this is something I've never done before, it's fisherman's rib. Which I actually, like, once I learned how to do it, I didn't do like had like squares of it or anything and maybe I should have I should have practiced tinking back and what how to fix a drop stitch with fisherman's rib but I learned those things along the way while I was knitting so uh and I didn't get a lot of practice so a lot of times if I had to tink back or tinking back isn't that hard but if I had to fix a drop stitch like I fixed it but it didn't really look very good. It was, you know, but it's not going to be that noticeable to people who aren't, like, that into knitting. But it, it's, you know, it's like, it, it works. Like, I've, I'm learning, and that's another conversation I kind of want to have. It's like how knitting is helping me to learn to live with mistakes and not allow mistakes to just make me give up altogether. Like, some people, it's like they have to fix it. It has to be perfect. But I know that if I operate that way with knitting, like, I'm going to be discouraged. And I'm going to give up. So, there are certain types of mistakes that I'm just like, it's okay. Like, I'm going to get better at this, but I'm going to live with this. Like, it's fine. So, that would happen. I finished my first panel. I really enjoyed the Fisherman's Rib. It gives us a nice, kind of spongy, cozy texture. I was really attracted once I saw that to sweaters that were like completely fisherman's rib. Not sure I will ever do that at this point now, but at the time I was like, wow, this will be really fun, really comfy. So I finished my first um, panel. It was super exciting. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do the second panel. I definitely will be able to wear this this summer. Well, <sighs> all right, so I, I cast on the the second panel I work on it I get all the way up to I don't know what you call that the motif the center design uh below the neckline whatever and I I make a mistake somewhere my my stitches are off and like it's not as centered as it should be and so I have to go back and fix that so I do then I, I even like drop a stitch on purpose to fix that. Okay, so then I keep going. I'm like, it looks a little sloppy now, but whatever. Because it's a fisherman's rib little design in that little center thing. I and mean, I'll show you the picture. I don't know what words to give for that. So then um, I keep going and I get to the center. What is it called? Centers. S CSD, it's like a center decrease, center stitch decrease. I don't know. I know something. Um, so I do that. I'm excited. I'm like, oh, I'm about to start the straps. This is going to be awesome. And then I don't remember how I figured this out, but I realized that like the design was shorter than it was supposed to be. Now on the set, on the first panel, my design is actually a little bit longer than it's supposed to be. And I was like, I'm fine with that. Whatever. But now this one's shorter. And at first I thought, I'm just going to keep going. It'll be okay. But then I thought, if this is not long enough, what did I, what did it, what did I think? I thought that maybe it would mean that the strap, okay, because I thought, well, maybe I can just add in the length with the straps. But then I was like, but then that's going to hang too low. And maybe, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe... I should have done that and just had a different type of neckline on the back or front. I don't know. But it seemed like I could knit that whole thing and really end up not liking it. Or maybe it was going to come up short and I just wasn't going to like it. And I'm like, oh, what's the point of knitting this whole thing if I'm not going to like it? All right. So that leads me to put in a, um, a lifeline. 
I didn't do that well. I should have watched the video first, but I did it. I did some virgin little hiking. And I frogged it about half, all the way back to before I even started that design. So I would say like at least 12 or double rows. I don't know. So then I started back at it and I'm really proud of myself. Like I did not give up. I'm still going. And it's clear when I do this that I didn't do well, that, that the row is messed up. The design on the sides of the fisherman edger, edging is a little bit messed up. But I'm like, you know, we're, we're working through it. We're working through it. We're going to keep going. So we do, and I start that little design again in the middle, and I'm getting into it. And then I look at it, and it's not that thing that happened to me the first time happened again, kind of where it's not completely centered. The design is not right. And I need to go back. I need to frog it back to fix it again. Like, I, can't, I don't even think I can drop it and fix it. Like, it's just the fisherman's rib is really difficult to drop and do over. And, like, it's just, I feel like I want to cry because it's just, like, so frustrating. And I'm like, there's other layers to this. Um, part of it is, like, I bought this yarn. It wasn't even part of the plan. And it's cotton bamboo, so it's very splitty. So it seems to me that there are only so many times that you can keep going back before it's just a splitted mess. And even if you're knitting it correctly, it just starts to look sloppy. Now, I only paid eight some dollars for these two cakes of yarn. Okay? But part but I think I also bought the circular needles to knit it maybe so anyway I'm just kind of like I bought this yarn I knit a whole panel like am I like it just feels I don't like wasting time it's like this is the thing about knitting knitting is so it's so true that it's comforting it's mindful it's awesome but for me what is cool and exciting is that I persevered to learn it because normally I would have given up I would have been given up when it wasn't working well on other projects so it's been this thing that kind of preaches to me it's 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 a soul work as I'm knitting and I'm working through these issues so one issue that I've had over the years is I don't like to waste time I don't like to waste anything it makes me feel like I just like what was the point of all that and it's really depressing to me so I'm just like shoot like I spent all this time on this I'm not gonna get to wear it I spent money on this and then like people were kind of following along there was one lady I met who I learned knit and I convinced her to get the kit and to knit it along with me and now I'm gonna have to tell her I'm done I'm giving up on this and then like she's barely into it I don't want to discourage her so now it's become about someone else and it probably shouldn't and so I'm just like, oh, like I'm so frustrated. And I'm like, do I just frog it and just be released from this? Maybe find another use for the yarn that I haven't used yet for that first panel. Um, I was thinking that that yarn would make a good cardigan if I found like a simple pattern that I could use. I don't know. Start over and do a different ribbing. Kind of modify it for my own whatever so that if I do have issues I can fix it I don't know um as I talk about that it does feel like oh that that feels kind of like a relief like oh maybe I could like play around with this and just make my own tank top it's kind of a bold move for a beginner um so yeah I, I'm 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 very close to just giving up. So I really wanted to know what your thoughts are. Like, should I, what, I know there's no should. I know there's no, you can't tell me what to do. But I'm curious, what would you do? And keep in mind, like, the stage I'm at in knitting. Like, that I'm a, I'm a pretty, I'm a beginner. Like, should I frog it? Would you frog it completely? Would you keep persevering and trying to get it done? my thing is I might be able to finish it but then it's like this yarn 
is just, it's getting like a mess. And I can't just say, let me cut this and use the better yarn because it's my, I have two skeins and the first panel was exactly the first skein. So there's no extra. I also thought about what if I just got a different, different yarn and just tried again, you know? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm not feeling as like, oh, I just got to have this tank anymore. Um, I think I'm just more sad that it's not working out. I really enjoyed working with the yarn. It was really soft, nice shine. It was very pleasant to work with. Um, so I'll show some pictures of the journey of the tank as well, do a little montage, and yeah, then you might feel a little bit more why the emotional weight of it for me to give up on it, but it's, it's it, I don't know, I don't know. And then the other thing that's hard is that I feel like it's making me press into sock knitting more because I'm like, maybe like I don't want to work on large projects because it's like you spend so much time on them and then it's like something happens and then you're just like oh like is this all a waste you know so I don't know so part of me is like maybe I should just stick with it for that for the sake of my other ideas and plans and uh, uh. so that's the story of the tank top I will show you some pictures and then I will come on at a later time on the video later in this video um, I will show you where I'm at with the other panel. You can see the mistake for yourself and kind of base your thoughts on that. Like maybe to you, you're like, it's not that severe or it's not that big of a deal or whatever. So anyway, I really would appreciate your thoughts. Please, if you watch this, leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking as you see these things and uh, we can chat. All right, it is day 18 of wearing my dress going strong I'm finally ready to show you the tank but first I want to show you some other stuff that's actually more exciting for me so the sock that I knit for um, L'Oreal this is the first one it's so cute and this is how far I am on the second one. Adam said that it, they just keep getting better and better. Each sock is better than the one I knit before. So I thought that was really cool. I mean, technically this is exactly what I knit for Oscar. It's just different yarn, but I think the tonal um, colorway is just really nice with this. This is again, DK weight. Um, drops merino and then this tonal passionate tonal is simplicity by haiku all right and then i have um this just spur of the moment project in between projects while i, while I was waiting on yarn this is a finger weight sock shorty sock that i'm knitting it's cool I'm not like super excited about it because it's like the the colors aren't speaking to me I already had a lot of this yarn so I just thought I would you know cast on something on smaller needles just for the sake of like wanting to knit but also wanting to vary like the types of projects I'm working on without buying more yarn so we have that so hopefully I finish it I'm like really eager to start the sock for um, Ebony, which I forgot that I was going to show you the colors I was thinking about for her sock. Alright, I'll come back to that. Um, actually, no, I will do that real quick. Alright, I am so happy that I took this out because I'm really excited about it. So this is um, Malabrigo Rios. This is also a DK weight. I don't know how well you can see the color, but it's like a tonal brown, light brown, tannish. Just by itself for me, just like, oh, I'm gonna wear a sock, this color, it was just kind of boring. But thinking about pairing it with the contrast color, it's like really exciting. So I'm gonna put 
like this and this together with the lumberjack pattern. So there will be a couple stripes of this. This will be the toe and heel, and this will be the main color on these tiny little toddler socks. But it's so cute. I might knit myself some. Um, one second. Okay, if you're gonna be here, you're gonna have to be quiet, okay? I'm almost done. Just be still. Alright, so now we're on to the, the streamlined tank. This is Kobu Lion Brand. This is the first panel. It's not perfect. But, and it's been folded for a while, so that's why it's wrinkled. Um, it has the fisherman's rib going down the side is the edging and the hem part at the bottom, which is new for me. Really difficult to fix if you mess up. I mean, it's... Hey, L'Oreal. I need you to give me a minute, please. The toys going off and stuff is interrupting the video. You see? It's still happening. Alright, so let's see if I can find. I don't really have pouch bags, so this is holding my tank. It's so, it's really hard to fix, and while I did have to tink back on the first one a little bit, just like because I dropped a stitch or something, this one I've had to frog significantly. So I actually got up to <coughs> um, this part, uh, where you start doing the center decrease on this panel. Um, and then I had to frog all the way back to the beginning of the little design in the middle. I don't know what you call that. So I started knitting back and I'm excited. I'm trying to see if I can show this to you. Uh, I don't know if I can show this. Can you tell that like this is off? Like this part that's longer should be like something happened with the count and it's not, it's supposed to be like symmetrical with like the longer part in the middle and it's not, it's, it's, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. And part of the reason for that is because somehow my count got off and I tried to fix it by doing the math of like how the pattern was designed and just doing it with less stitches but I just yeah so I don't know if like my math was off or something so maybe essentially I probably should have just went back or I probably should have increased my stitches or something to accommodate and make sure that I could follow the pattern as it is written whatever the case now I feel like I have to frog it back to below this design and start over and it's really hard because I just want to show you like what this yarn looks like like it is very splitty and I don't think that's a lion brand thing I think that's just cotton bamboo from what I've been reading and so the more you go back the harder it is for it to not look messy I'm trying to see if I can see an example of like me trying to fix things and just like what that looks like um i mean as i'm talking to you i feel like I've, i'm being dramatic like maybe it's not that bad but i don't know i i feel like i'm giving up okay let me show you another example so like right here Like this happened from when I frogged it and was coming back. Like, I don't know. 
this is my attempt at like fixing fisherman's rib can you see it like in there it just looks so you really can't it doesn't the, the camera doesn't do it justice it's like oh it's not that bad but i think at the end of the day the biggest thing is that center part like feeling like it's just not going to work um and it's been so long like weeks since i've looked at this that part of me doesn't even remember like what i was thinking and so it just seems like the simple solution is to just go back and start that over am i being dramatic um I'm gonna try to show this to you close up. Okay, so. All right, so this is supposed to be at the center. Oh, it looks pretty centered. And so it should be like a knit. It should be pearl, fisherman's rib, pearl, fisherman's rib, pearl, fisherman's rib. And then all of that should be on this side too, but it's not. So you see what I'm saying? Like, either this part that's going down is just going too far here and should be here. I'm not really sure what happened, but what I do know is that whatever is happening on this side should be happening on this side. And then there's the part that's longer in the middle. And I'll show you with this one. Right, you see? It's not perfect. You see, I got a little messed up right there. But and this is actually maybe four rows too longer than it's supposed to be. But um, you see what I mean? That's what it's supposed to be like. What do I do? All right. So I'm happy that I'm talking to you because I think I'm overthinking it, but. I've been so frustrated that I almost feel like I'm incapable of thinking clearly. I think I'm discouraged. I'm worried about wasting time on this. Earlier, I was thinking about just frogging it and I actually felt kind of like, oh, that would be a relief. And I know that this hot is supposed to be fun. So if it's not fun anymore, maybe that is a sign that it's, I should just be done with it. I don't know. But I was really looking forward to having this tank. So, in my first garment that I could wear. So let me know what you think. Um, and we'll keep the conversation going. For now, I will put it back in the bag. I'm not gonna make any decisions just yet. But I doubt that I will work on this before the next video. I really do wanna hear what you think. Um, I may get some advice on a rivalry forum or something. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. All right, now some more exciting things. Will I cast this on? <laughs> See you next time. So, L'Oreal's trying on her sock. It looks like we're ready for the toe part. It's gonna be a little bit big so that she has some room to grow into them and have them for more than just one season. Uh, what do you think, L'Oreal? I love it. It's mm -hmm. so cozy. It's so cozy. Comfy cozy. Yep. It's Good interesting stuff. that these sides are a little lighter than all that. Yeah. And they have bigger stitches. Mmm. Yeah. Alright, let me get to it.